What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Um, I think what helped is I'm a position player in college, so I mean, I know how hard hitting was, and then I converted to a pitcher. I, I mean, kind of just got that philosophy to attack the zone and put the pressure on them, which obviously doesn't help happen all the time because of the mechanics. But um, that was always my thing: try to go right at them and uh, make them get themselves out. Now, do you pitch to your strengths or a batter's weakness? Um, both, but mostly my strengths. I mean, a, a lot of times, I like trusting the catcher, and so what they put down, I like to be able to execute that, whatever they throw, put down. But lately, I've been realizing that when you have a certain pitch you want to throw, it comes out a lot better, and you execute a lot, much more uh, consistently when it's what you want to throw, rather than waiting for their sign and then trying to get to that pitch and executing it. So lately, I've been throwing what I might go to my strengths. Now, there's first round draft picks, about half of them make the major leagues. And the other ones are getting passed on by guys drafted in the 50th round. Why does that happen? Uh, well, I mean, first, first round draft picks is, is tough because, uh, I mean, you see it all the time. The guys kind of just move up really quick because they're first rounders. They have a lot of money invested in, so they kind of got forced. They got to get forced and moved up a lot of time. But, uh, I mean, some of them proved themselves in college. I mean, it's a lot different game. Pro ball is more of a grind. Um, to wear and tear and uh, better players. So, I mean, some of them, they kind of peak early. They're dominant in college, but it doesn't, doesn't translate um, to the pro ball game sometimes. Now, spring training, every team brings in more guys. They trade for more pitchers. They sign free agents to compete for your spot of the major league roster. How do you approach that? Same thing I try, I try to think all the time and tell other people is just control you control. I mean, all I can do is go out there and try to dominate and uh, be myself and get guys out. I can't really worry about what's going to happen behind me. It's all fun, that's front office stuff. And uh, if you let that, you let, you let that get to you and always check in on who's signing who, then it kind of just might play mental games with you. So you just got to stay focused and control you control. Is there a time in your career you wanted to quit baseball? <laughs> As I said, the closest I, got, I, mean, I signed in 06, and the closest I got was right when I signed, I went from playing Pac-10 baseball. I was 23 years old when I signed, fifth year senior, and I went to the GCL in Florida, and it was 100, 100 degrees, 90% humidity, and I'm playing with 17, 18 year olds, horrible baseball. So they really came up from a, a good, uh, a good conference like that with older guys, and it was just miserable there. And I think I just started pitching, so I mean. They, they, Put me there for about a month. I moved up, but at that point, it was, I was like, "What did I get myself into?" And I mean, besides that, no. I mean, everyone complains. I can play myself up to grind, and when you look at it at a deeper level, I mean, we get paid to play a game, literally. So, I mean, it's, it, it'd be tough if you want to quit. You read this push pages or Baseball America where they rank you or things like that? I did. I did when I first started coming up, and I was. I went to the organization a couple of times, but I, I think I'm past that point now. I've been playing for a little bit, so I don't think they've done much anymore. Did that affect you when you saw your name? Or? I mean, it's exciting at first because I just got into pro ball, and you know, guys watch me pitch and ranking me best pitch in the four state league or best receiver. So I mean, it's exciting to see, but like I said, you can't control anything, so not a big deal. How about the umpires? How do you handle the umpires? I tend to handle them well. I think as a hitter, it's different. And you get back call, you get back calls to the hitter and you're right there you see it but the pitcher you can't be arguing when they get, they get back call because then you gotta go back out there and throw strikes and that can affect your outing pretty drastically so I try to I, guess, I mean I get frustrated every once in a while but I don't say much to them I ask them where a pitch was but I mean they're human I know they make mistakes but when it keeps happening that's when it really starts getting frustrating What about the fans when they're yelling and screaming at you all the time? Uh I mean, I guess in the bullpen we hear it, like behind us in the van, but I just ignore it sometimes. And, I mean, play with them a little bit, but through, through one ear out the other for the most part. What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? Probably just stay focused on your task. I mean, organizations are going to make moves you don't, you don't agree with a lot of times. I think every organization does that. And, uh, you let it get to you, it makes it a lot worse. So, like I said before, just control what you can and don't worry about the little things and what they're doing because your numbers and your performance will take care of itself. Any 